one of the 57 chapter presidents nationwide who've demonstrated excellence in leadership while serving their chapter and its members. Some of those who knows this year's recipients best describe her like this. A thoughtful leader who instinctively understands the balance between the chapter's past achievements and the innovation necessary for sustainable growth. As such, she embodies a fierce determination to ensure that the chapter is consistently the best it can be. Another writes that she understands the importance of being a chapter president despite it being a volunteer position and realizes that her presence at national events is critical to the success of the chapter. And finally, another member wrote, she leads the chapter with much enthusiasm, patience, and grace. St. Augustine observed that will is to grace as the horse is to the rider. This year's recipient served with grace because of her unwavering will to see every member of the chapter grow and flourish. There is no greater hallmark of an outstanding leader. Warren Bennis, a pioneer in the contemporary field of leadership study, tells us that leadership is really the ability to translate vision into reality. This year's recipient was able to do just that with amazing results. Thanks to her drive to recruit new members and her determination to retain every current member possible, she moved their chapter from the third largest chapter in the country to number one with 287 members. She increased the number of programs that the chapter offered from 30 to more than 40. She demonstrated her commitment to sponsorship growth by recruiting, and, uh, excuse me, recruiting eight new sponsors and convincing 38% of the current sponsors to increase their level of commitment. She increased the chapter's financial reserves by 15% despite the dismal economy. She revamped the chapter CPSM study group to a more formal eight-week boot camp program, resulting in 50% greater participation in that program. She elevated the social media committee to the board level, establishing a blog manager, a Wednesday tweeter, and a Facebook champion. The combined efforts of this group yielded 94 fans on Facebook, 807 followers on Twitter, and 56 members of the chapter's LinkedIn group. Demonstrating the responsibility to contribute to the greater good of the community, not just to the members, she increased the chapter's community contributions to more than $14,000, which represents a whopping 82% increase over the previous year. Continuing the theme of doing for others, she created a pay it forward grant that would cover the build business registration, airfare, hotel, and meals for a different chapter member each year. She also held the chapter's first university outreach program to introduce SMPS to marketing students at two local universities. There is certainly no question that she knows how to turn vision into reality. Leadership guru John Maxwell notes that a successful person finds the right place for himself, but a successful leader finds the right place for others. Clearly, this year's recipient, a 17-year member of SMPS, found the right place for herself at the helm of the largest chapter in the country. But perhaps more importantly, she found the right place for others on the board, on committees, or just in membership in the chapter. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing the 2011 Chapter President of the Year, Allison Carney, CPSM. I don't know what to say. Um, I should be, I should be calm, take a deep breath. Um, thank you. And I guess I just want to say how much I love SMPS. Um, this is pretty amazing. I, while you were talking, Mike, I kept looking around at my table and the tables near me for the people that truly made those things happen because 
anything that we have done in our chapter has been a team effort. We have some amazing, amazing people. Um, I have loved SMPS ever since I first went to a program way back in the day. And I have felt like the people of SMPS are what makes it what it is. And people immediately welcome you and reach out and introduce you to people that can be helpful to you in your business or they know something that you have in common with them. Um, people embrace one another. They help one another. They do help each other grow and they help each other get business. They team together. They win work together. And they grow the chapters and they help the whole organization. So I do love it and I just have a feeling that most everyone in this room probably feels the same way. I have some thank yous that I want to say. Um, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I guess I really want the DC chapter to know that I'll accept this award for the chapter, for the, me for the members, for the board, for our sponsors, the people that help everything do what, what gets done. Um, I'm shaking, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and thank you all for what you do for our chapter and um, for reaching out to others. I actually want to say a thank you to my very, very patient husband who unfortunately isn't here um, for supporting me over the last year and a half or so and um, to my mentor and my best friend, Pat Ellis, who encouraged me to take the CPSM exam several years ago and really got me so engaged with the chapter and asked me to be her president-elect. Pat calls SMPS her happy place, and I have to say <laughs> that I totally agree with that. Um, I do want to say thank you to Balfour Beatty Construction, which is the company that I work for, and they have been very supportive of all the time and, and the relationships and so forth um, to be involved with SMPS. And I especially appreciate our CEO, John Tarpey, for recognizing the value that SMPS brings. And I definitely want to give a shout out to Ron Worth and all of the national staff who are an amazing group of people that support everything that we do in all the chapters. And also Carolyn and all of the national board for all of the things that they do for us and setting the vision for the future. So thank you so much. And this is really an amazing honor and I appreciate it. Congratulations, Allison.